Someone you didn't hear Lindsey Graham mention there is Senator Elizabeth Warren, who at one point was leading the polls nationally and here in New Hampshire. But tonight, she is fighting for third place in the Granite State and might even fall to fourth. That's despite having what's called the proximity advantage. And for more on that, we want to go to John Keller back in the studio. John, what happened with Elizabeth Warren? Well, Liam, we should first note that Senator Warren has been down and counted out in some quarters before. Believe it or not, one year ago this week, she was trailing Beto O'Rourke in the polls. But after a summer-long rise that peaked in October, her surprising slippage has been undeniable. In mid-September, Warren drew a huge, ecstatic crowd to this Manhattan rally. My student debt cancellation plan. Three weeks later, she capped a four-month rise by claiming the top spot in a national poll for the first time, a surge driven by critical acclaim for her release of a string of detailed policy plans. But then came this damaging moment in a mid-October debate. You have not specified how you're going to pay for the most expensive plan, Medicare for All. Will you raise taxes on the middle class for pay, to pay for it, yes or no? So I have made clear what my principles are here. Well, we heard it tonight, a yes or no question that didn't get a yes or no answer. Look, this is why people here in the Midwest are so frustrated with Washington in general and Capitol Hill in particular. Your signature, Senator, is to have a plan for everything except this. When Warren did get more specific, her plan was derided by some of the left-leaning voters she needed to pry away from Bernie Sanders. And for a candidate self-branded as a passionate fighter, Warren has been notably reluctant to take on her chief competitors, with the exception of this hot mic post-debate moment with Sanders. I think you called me a liar on national TV. 